evening, half eleven at night, joining us in Cork Island, Damien's and John's ancestral homeland. Yeah, exactly. Oh, well, you're you're actual you're Irish, aren't you? I'm dual nationality. Yeah, but I, I suspect if you were to trace back John's heritage, yeah. you might have come over with the British several hundred years before. Yeah, yeah. One of Sachin's better hotel bookings. They're all the same bed, aren't they? Oh. All right, should we push them together? Oh, I feel like a rose for tree two forms. <laughs> <laughs> Morning all. Uh, first full day in Cork Island. We're having to be a bit quiet because uh, once again a certain lazy sausage isn't up yet. Sachin for clarification. <laughs> yeah, it is Sachin. Um, but in fairness to him, he has done a good job with the hotel, so we've uh, got free breakfast. We're going to go down and have that. Then we're going to do a walking tour, and then we're going to free roll after that. We don't have anything planned. Bit of a balls up from Zach. In the room doesn't include breakfast, so we're just going to head out. Thoughts on Cork, Damo? I think it's a bit too early to tell. Uh, a couple of nice buildings seen so far, but... A couple of not so nice buildings as yeah, well. So, so a lot of it is just seems like standard UK. Generic city centre. <laughs> Of the food we produce here. Most of the <laughs> we had out. No, but I actually like left it in the UK. Oh, okay. Well. Thoughts on the walking tour, Sachin? Um, well, the feedback I You got didn't it, go. It, Thoughts on the walking tour, John? Mixed. I think it was a very good guide. Um, didn't have a lot to show us. No, not loads of like very nice landmarks. A lot of it was quite generic. UK High Street, but not this. Look at that. This is caught Damien's eye. And then you notice especially Yeah, I mean Alright gang, the squirrel squad. Oh for God's sake, Sachin. Sad really. The squirrel squad are at Blarney. Is it Blarney Castle? Blarney Castle. Um not your first time, is it, Damien? It's not. I went as a young lad. <laughs> Even younger than I am. Um, Absolutely. So yeah, it was good. Kiss the stone. Right. To refresh my Keep gift. it clean. I'm keeping it clean. Yeah. Right, yep, so we're going to have a look at the castle. First castle for this young man, probably since he was about eight. Um, <laughs> have a wander around the grounds as well. Okay. That is basically where the microphone is. Still going to stay void up? It is good. Cuddle that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's stuck, he's stuck. No, is it good? Yeah, bye. He's been a naughty boy. Oh, you didn't see me wink. I'm wearing my sunglasses. All oh, right, he winked. What are you doing? Just getting you in a castle. Might never happen again. No, I'm in a castle, guys. Yeah. No, no, he went back down. Thoughts on the view, Damo? 11 out of 10. Oh wow. That fear of heights is rapidly diminishing. Oh, it's doing much better than an Eden project. <laughs> pushing his way to the top. Classic. Every man for himself. I saw you almost threw Damien off. I got it on camera, so it's fine. We'll let the viewers decide what you were doing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Is that right? What's it? Fucking hell. Oh. Oh. Right, it wasn't showing what I was recording. Oh. Kissing stone's done. Only one of the four did it. Um, unfortunately, John was holding the camera. I don't think he got anything. Damien opted not to take a photo because he knew he wouldn't do it himself, so he didn't want the bad comparison. 
And I don't really know what Sachin was doing, but um, for a man who jumps off bridges and stuff for fun, he really bottled it the worst, actually. He <laughs> cried like... He cried. Uh, it wasn't pretty to watch, but... Um, John was the second closest. He at least uh, gave it a go um, and got quite close. Um, but yeah, I'm the only one, but we don't have any proof because obviously the best so photographer and videographer is me and I was unfortunately so it's kissing the stone. You as bad as everyone else? Well, yeah, there's no proof of it, yeah, but so we John, all... eyewitness, yeah, can confirm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was just going to get a video of how tight your trousers are. Oh. oh, yeah. Go on, turn around. Give us a swell. If that was the Blarney Stone. Go on. <laughs> I don't think Maddie ever will find out that Damien has a mischievous statue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see how she could. Oh. Look at that tight little booty. Right. Come on, Go on. Line up. Oh, Go on, Damo, don't give up. <laughs> <laughs> the head of sixth form that I went to died because he got trampled to death in a field of cows. Someone's wearing a cap for going bald. That's a fact. Oh, that's that handsome. Wow. Oh. Quite poetic, majestic with the sun shining down. Robin Hood? Yeah, Your maid Marion. Irish Tree of the Year 2019. Are you enjoying the woodland walk, guys? It's enchanting. Enchanting. Is that Jim? It's on. John, in a word. I am. What flavour did you get? I got <laughs> bubblegum and candy. Cotton yes. candy or candy bars. Have you ever had an adult flavoured ice cream? That is an adult flavoured ice cream. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can't really see it, but McEwen there. Pointing at it. There you go. Good Irish stock. With a red hand of Ulster. Absolutely. No shame in that. Just don't say it too loud. <laughs> Damien, do the thing. <laughs> oh, Damien, you're taking too far. Why are you so happy? I might die by the end of it, but I'm dying off it. So what have you got? Wedges and Cinnabur. a Super Mac burger, which is very similar to another burger of a similar name. Oh. What's your plan for today? Um, Abandon you guys as usual. You're actually gonna. <laughs> There's nowhere to go. Give <laughs> 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 me place to go to the spa downstairs. Mm. Why? That's the value you have, Damien. Well, let's actually keep it clean. It's yeah, going on YouTube, exactly. kids. It's like universal rated, right? not 18 rated. <laughs> yeah, it's not like the filth that <laughs> goes on your. Kettle black. It's yeah. actually, come like, on. This is meant to go on YouTube, kids, for property investors of Manchester. <laughs> exactly. So, Sorry, Damien. Yeah, we're going to Blackrock um, Castle Observatory. We're not sure what we're going to do on the afternoon. I think we had discussed the Jameson Brewery, but it's extortionate getting in, and none of us are big drinkers, so it's kind Apart of. Apart from Sachin. Five. Five. Smash five. Five. The boys have smashed ten today. Ten today. Yeah. Ten today. So you're feeling a bit tired. You're off it. Normally it's much higher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you enjoying your first bus journey, John? Yeah, that's very good. Nearly, no, open, <laughs> near, nearly an open top bus tour. Absolutely. Yeah. Almost as much as Sachin enjoyed his first castle yesterday. Yeah, absolutely. What a uh, weekend of first. It's yeah. quite a nice castle, that. Have you been to this one before, Damo? No, I've not. Oh, wow. It's weekend first. of firsts. Yeah. You enjoy the tour, Sachin? Not the right length for you, wasn't it? What do you mean? Well, it was about five minutes. Exactly. It's a journey of 
self-discovery I'm trying to finally conquer my fear of heights. Going over the top boys. Exactly, just like in World War One. Right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah that'd be uh, pretty secure I reckon. <laughs> Observatory done, slightly underwhelming. That looks fantastic. Did you? Well, right, well, prior to this video, there's a video of you sat on your phone, not paying attention. So, that's what I mean, I'm a phone to entertained. Let the people decide for themselves. But yeah, slightly underwhelming, didn't take very long. Probably wouldn't recommend it. Sam's filming. Hello there, Sam. Checking in with the old ball and chain. <laughs> I feel like we've exhausted Cork to be honest, which is a bit frustrating because we've got another day tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to get something to eat because I wasn't hungry at the market because I had quite a big breakfast. And then we're probably going to see the new Alien film, which probably tells you where we're at in terms of things to do. Big that. I've had bigger. You had bigger, Damien. Uh, it's a lot longer breed, so it's quite as thick. Do you prefer len lengthy bird burritos uh, or girthy well, burritos? You do. I think lengthy is a bit more manageable on the mouth, whereas a girthy one is like. <laughs> there's a lot more like, spillage potential, isn't there? Yeah. What is the plan today then, Damo? The Fitzgerald Park University, and we're going to Cobb to see the Titanic experience, which is the second Titanic experience we've seen. Though. So Cobb's like a little town nearby, but it's the last place the Titanic sailed from before its fateful voyage. Dear me. How do you get ketchup down there? First thoughts on Cobb Demo? I quite like it. It's quite just nice to look at, isn't it? Yeah. Really good cathedral in the background. I think it's nicer than anything yeah. we saw in Cork, probably. I think Cork was quite deprived of quite run down pretty much all the way through the centre. Whereas this is quite a nice place. So don't go to Cork, go to Cobb. So it's far. like a tour in there, but more it is, it there. is, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we think the spot the Titanic departed from is somewhere around here. There's a museum just there. So we're going to try and find the exact spot if we can, but if not, it's somewhere around here. The Titanic departed on its final fateful voyage. So it looks like that's the spot. Maybe from here. Cobb. Now at the Titanic Memorial Gardens, you can't read it very well because it's transparent, but it's saying that 123 passengers boarded at this stop and 79 were lost, 44 were saved. So Memorial Gardens done, pretty short but sweet. I think the plan now is going to go back to the Heritage Centre we were at earlier, probably do the museum there rather than the Titanic one, which we didn't think would be better than Belfast, whereas uh, this one's more about the history of Cobb, which I think has a little bit more than just a Titanic, we're hoping.
So this place actually used to be called Queenstown after Queen Victoria, but it was renamed after the Irish got their independence. <laughs> Heritage Centre's done. I thought it was very good actually. I quite liked how it didn't just focus on the Titanic. I think so it's actually pronounced Cove, not Cobb, which I've been saying all day, but it's actually quite an interesting place because it was probably like one of the big it was much bigger up until the sixties because for the steam lines and stuff from America to um UK and Ireland, a lot of them were setting off from here. And then obviously with airlines in the 60s, that basically killed the town, really. So overall, I think if you're in the Cork area, I definitely recommend it for a day trip. Evening all, we're now back from dinner after our final night in Cork. And yeah, that's it basically. Flying home tomorrow, so not really much else to report. I think overall, I'd say I probably wouldn't recommend Cork. I thought... Cove was actually nicer than Cork, but I probably wouldn't fly out just to do it. And there just wasn't a huge amount to do, and the stuff there was to do, it was decent, but it just felt like you could have been anywhere in the UK. So yeah, so I probably wouldn't recommend it and I wouldn't come back, but obviously I've had a very good trip anyway with the hashtag lads, so still enjoyed my time what are your closing thoughts on cork yeah uh, i'd say if you're doing it how rude that is so rude that is so rude unless it's george michael i don't want it in my video continue damien anyway before i was interrupted um i'd say if you're doing a trip like a longer trip to ireland anyway it's worth coming down this way because there are some good some worthwhile visits like blarney castle and stuff like that it, it does seem like it's a place that's more suited to people that are just kind of going out to get drunk basically mm. if you're after that sort of holiday and fair enough you and you're not a lot worse, but you're not about that life anymore not anymore you're giving up the drink approaching 30 so you got to behave at some point also you, you know you're under strict rules about what you <laughs> can and can't do when you're away with the lads aren't you um, anyway had to take sudoku off your phone again unfortunately uh, that's it, but i've got killer sudoku on there as a workaround so it's fine um but yeah um, me when he goes home? well I'll delete it on the flight mm. yeah but Rob, 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 watch a video well she won't even follow me on instagram so what are the odds of that <laughs> Sachin. the best place i've ever been Fantastic. What's there not to like? Fantastic. No, I'm joking. Um, it's, uh, it's, as we've discussed, there's not much meat on the bone. There's, you can, I think it's a good fight for two or three days, but I think five to Sunday or kind of... I think three days. Yeah, it's five to Sunday, five to Monday morning is kind of all you really need. Um, got to come, got to sit off. I'm just maybe disappointed that kind of what I thought it was going to be versus the actual reality. It's built up to be better than it is. Yeah, I agree. But I probably won't be coming back anytime soon. I do at some point want to do like an island road trip, so maybe pop here for half a day or whatever, I'm on my way to somewhere, but there's nothing really... Uh, again, if I come back, how can I approach in a different way? I, I don't think I can. So. Right, that's everything from me. My next video will probably be Bratislava, Slovakia. And the start of my three week interrailing trip in September. Well, I might that. So I will see you soon. Oh, one second, one second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, and at Sachin Govind on YouTube as well. Sachin underscore Govind. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for correcting me. Over and out.